Hello good people of YouTube, it is time for me to begin my first ever try at a let's play, and we're going to see how this is going to work, and I've never done this before, so yeah, let me scoot my cat out of my chair real fast, before we begin, scoot over, please, little furball thing, <coughs> oh god, sorry, a little cough, and this is Star Fox 64, the game that has spawned many internet memes and other such things, that are associated with Star Fox. And here we get a lovely little background scene of um, a person who's dead flying in their decrepit plane. And I'm not going to bother to narrate this because we have a beautiful voice actor that is going to do it for us. Uh, he's basically explaining the background of the Lilat system, which is the universe of Star Fox. Uh, talking about, basically talking about how James McCloud was sent to investigate this deserted planet Venom after this evil scientist was sent there because he did evil things and did experiments that caused things to blow up. And then the pig guy on the right betrayed him, shot his, got his plane shot down. He was captured and supposedly killed. The big rabbit guy, Peppy, escaped. And then stuff happened. Anyway, um, yeah, talking about how he escaped and told his son, Fox, no, James's son, Fox, about how he's dead. And it sounds like people General are talking Pepper in the background. It's kind of freaking me out, but I don't know. Oh, it's just the echo from my recording. Okay, whatever. So, now the new Star Fox team is going to investigate or take down Andros because he has risen up again to try and take over the Lilat system. And the Star Fox team is Fox, Peppy, who was in the old Star Fox team, which is pretty cool. Um, what's his face? Falco and Slippy. So, the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to go and do one path through the Star Fox, you know, Star Fox game, because there are plenty of different ways you can go to get to the end, and I'm going to try, I'm going to actually get the true ending where you see uh, some pretty cool secrets and stuff that happen, and you fight the true form of Andros, because if you, if you do it on easy, you only fight a uh, robot version of Andros. So, um, while this little cutscene is going on, I'm going to explain the uh, way the missions are set up. They're set up in such a way that you can either complete them in an easy way, which, and at the end it gives you a mission complete uh, notification, or you can complete a specific goal within the mission that is usually hidden, and you'll get a mission accomplished rating, which will allow you to select um, a harder mission to uh, play through. So you can select new paths instead of going straight down the easy path. The only way you can get to the true ending of Star Fox 64 is to find these hidden missions and complete them. The first one here is pretty simple, and we'll see it when we get there. This is um, the first level, naturally, Corneria. It is uh, the easiest, and I don't think mo most people wouldn't have any problems. <coughs> Marley, anyway. Um, yeah, so this is the Star Fox team. We're going to try and liberate the taken over city of Corneria, who has been taken over by uh, Andros's forces. Now, the controls are pretty simple. A button, tapping A button is to shoot. You can hold down the A button like this and get a charge shot, which takes out enemies in one shot, just like most of the lasers do. You can do a number of um, techniques with your, with your R wing that I can't figure. Oh yeah, uh, back and side on the C stick or side or left C button will do a somersault as this, which you can use to um, get behind enemies that are behind you, which is a very useful thing so you don't get shot down. And like you see here, there are common times you'll have your um, partners that are under attack by enemies and you have to get the enemies off their tail, which it gets annoying by Slippy. See here, there's enemies behind me, so I can do a somersault to get behind them and shoot them. You can press B to shoot a bomb. You can hold back on the C stick to deploy your brakes. You can hold left on the C stick to get a boost. The silver rings rec uh, recover life, as do the gold rings, but the gold after you collect three gold rings, you get a life boost. Um, tapping R or L twice, there's a barrel roll, which we will see in a little bit. Everybody knows what the barrel roll is. Um... Just holding L and R will let you do a little tilt, and if you boost correctly there, you'll be avoid getting crushed by that building as you collect the um, power-up. You can get, um, what's its face? You can get new power-ups like the double lasers or the hyper lasers uh, by collect just, uh, flying through them. Just You just fly through the rings to get them as well. You shoot open doors, you do all kinds of cool stuff. Most of the environments are completely destructible, which is pretty cool. Checkpoints restore your health as well as give you a place to start when you die. And I don't know if I mentioned, but B is shooting a bomb, which you'll, which you'll have to use, pretty much have to use here if you want to save Falco, because um, otherwise he pretty much just dies. Yeah. 
it's difficult to shoot down all the planes and all the planes with just your laser so I recommend using your bomb if you want to save Falco and yes your your partners will common commonly die if you don't save them from um enemies that are on their tail bear yeah do a barrel roll yeah but if you do barrels you can uh deflect lasers that are heading towards you these enemies here will just throw things at you anyway yeah, not much exciting going on here. You can destroy these trees if you want. Now, here's where the secret mission comes into play. What we have to do is you just have to fly under these um, natural arc arcs, arches, however you pronounce it. And Falco will say, hey, nice flying fox. So if you keep doing that, keep flying under these things like this. Collect that little thing. This isn't a normal cutscene. Uh, Falco doesn't always do this for you. If you don't fly under those things, you'll just go to the first easier boss. I, well, I mean, it's not necessarily easier. So Falco now is leading us to... um the true target of the mission I assume and this is the uh, true mission of the level this is the way you unlock the hard version of the next mission coming up and this path is a little bit more difficult there's a lot more crap going on and you have to fight I think this is a classic boss the first boss from the first game which if I can uh, dig up my old uh, Super Nintendo cords I'll do a uh, let's play of that as well and like I said before this is my first let's play so I'm sorry if it sucks but we're going to do the best we can I should narrate these things for the things. Incoming enemy from the rear! <laughs> from the rear. Drop altitude. Nah. <laughs> oh god. What's wrong with me? I've been hanging out with Thomas and Alex too much. Enemy shield analyzed. God, Slippy's so freaking annoying in this game. Anyway, this is pretty simple. All you have to do is shoot the openings that open. Like this. If you tap your buttons fast enough, you can shoot them in one shot. Or take them out in one shot, but I'm not very good at it, so it's not going to happen. You can also shoot your own partners, which I hope I don't end up doing. You can kill them, which is never fun. Yeah. This, this boss really isn't difficult. All I have to do is just shoot these uh, open things, and after just a few shots, they'll die. Your partners really don't do much to help you, except they tell you how to beat the boss. And then you shoot him in the back, like this, until he dies. Really simple stuff. I don't think you can shoot him in the front and hurt him. Your barrel can deflect these um, laser orb things as well. If you don't break there, you will get hit. Hmm. We're Who Studios! Yeah! Um, yeah, I'll let you guys decide who's who in the comments. That should be pretty interesting. And there are four members of Who Studios, too, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, leave me a comment. Tell me which member of the Star Fox team you think each of the members of Who Studios is. So now you get the mission accomplished. Thingamajig. And yeah, okay, all aircraft report, yeah. The voice acting isn't all that great in this game. Um, some of the, the actors just butcher it completely. Um, Peppy gets annoying, Slippy gets annoying, Falco and Fox are some of the only decent voices in this game. Even though they're not all that great themselves. See, at the end, you get your accumulated total points, and after some certain number of points, I'm not sure what it is, you get an extra life, which is it's probably a hundred. Your teams also heal. And if you lose a teammate, it, it's out of commission for a few missions, and you get it back after like one or two. Alright, so um, that is the first part of my LP of Star Fox 64, and next we'll be heading off to, it looks like, Sector Y. I will see you guys later.